Hi, I'm Michael Bolton, and after two long years, I'm back on the European continent. Right now I'm in Gothenburg in Sweden, but I'm on my way to Switzerland. No question about it, software is everywhere. It's eating up the world. Banks are software companies these days. Defense contractors are software companies. Car companies are software companies too. You need to charge your electric car? There's an app and a QR code for it. With software running all those things, doing all that stuff, there's risk. And the risk is there might be big differences between the product we've got, the product we think we have, and the product we want. It's the job of testing to explore that risk. Over the last several years, there's been a lot of attention paid to checking the output from the functions of the product to see if they're correct. That's not a bad thing to do, but testing sure doesn't stop there. We test by experiencing, exploring, and experimenting with the product. Our job is to evaluate the product by learning about it through those things. There's a big difference between that and checking the build. Rapid software testing is an approach to testing software that's context-driven. We want to do the fastest, least expensive testing we can possibly do, as long as the risk justifies it. We also need to be able to do deep testing when the context demands it. The rapid software testing approach focuses on the skill set and the mindset of the individual tester, because that's where testing begins and ends with skilled people investigating risk. The first public presentation of rapid software testing explored since the pandemic began two years ago will be held May 18th to 20th in Zurich, Switzerland. It'll be sponsored by the House of Tests. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. In the class, we'll be examining certain outworn myths and folklore about testing and getting down to the nitty-gritty, giving you a new way to look at and think about testing that helps you to focus on the real issue, which is finding problems that matter before it's too late. Come join us in Zurich, 18th to the 20th of May.